Hello, hello, Irving. Good evening. Well, you are the hello there. You are the first in the class. Congrats. Congrats, Irving. I will check that you are in this in the class. Irving, could you solve the problem you had yesterday? Okay, we will wait some minutes, some minutes for the rest, okay? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, Kenya. Hello, Gloria. Good evening, teacher Kike. Good evening. How's it going? Are you okay? I am great. And very energetic, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> I hope you could you you had your uh, some coffee before uh, getting into the class. Okay, now I can see Gloria. Norma is getting connected. It's getting Hi, hello, hello. Good to see you in the class, uh, Carolina. Uh, Kenya. You have four people, four people, Kenya, Norma, Irving, and Gloria. Okay, I think we are going to try to start. Wilson is uh, just getting in. I have Diana Gabriela, all right. Diana Gabriela. Okay, Diana Gabriela, it's in the class now. Norma, Irving, Gloria, Kenya, Julio Cesar. Uh, Julio Cesar, I wonder if you if you have problems with your camera. Otherwise, uh, do me the favor to activate it. Same for Wilson. Hi, teacher. All right, now, yes, that's better, right? To see you, that's better. <laughs> okay, I hope we're going to have a great time tonight. Okay, Rebecca got into the class also. So, um, well, I think we are going to start. Okay, now, um, I wonder if you could finish your midterm. Do you finish your mid midterm? Yeah. The yes, I yes, finished the term. What can you tell me about the results? Good, bad? Good, good. Uh, good grades. Uh, good. Yes. All right, yes. so that's that's important, right? To get a, a good score. Okay, uh, so that means that uh, my job is going to be um, very easy tonight because you know today we are going to have some review about the midterm okay but we're going to try to solve it as a group and we're going to discuss a uh, certain um structures there activities that we have been working on and that we need to um reaffirm okay we we have to we have to uh, we need to have some review about it, okay? Because in that way, good evening, Jorge. Good evening, got into the class. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Okay, I have 11, 10 people and more people are just getting connected. I have Christopher. Hello, Christopher, good evening. And also, Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Hello. I can see Jorge Alberto also. Alba, well, people, that's better, right? I have 12 people, all right. Now, I will start, 
as soon as possible because you know have a lot of work to do today. Okay, these are the activities that you solved in the midterm. Okay. Anyways, uh, we we have to um we we need to go over it once again to check. Maybe you you committed some mistakes while uh, working on it, and uh, you don't know why, and that's uh, and that's the reason why we're gonna be working on it tonight. Okay. Uh, today we finish with the second week. You know, second week. And the next week, we are going to go uh, to start working with the fourth section of the module, or, I mean, of, of this course. And uh, well, I, 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 I mean, we are missing like two weeks more and, and this course will be, I mean, you are going to move on to another course. All right. So, so far, I think that you are a awesome people, that you are doing a great job and that you really want to learn English. That's the that's the most important part of this um class. Now, uh, are you ready to start with it? Are you ready, people? Yes, it's your yes, 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 I am yeah. ready. All right. So over here, now you already did this, right? So uh, you will you. You will listen to uh, different conversations and the only thing you will do is to check the correct answer, okay? Now, but besides that, besides that, uh, I want you to provide further information about the audio, whatever that comes, that, that you listen to, further information, you know, further. Now, I will, I will, I will type it in the chat, okay? So that you can see what's the word that I, I, I am trying to teach tonight. Farther, you are going to, you are going to, look at the chat, please. You are going to provide further information about the audience, about the conversations. Okay, you are gonna try, you are gonna try, okay? So in the in the first, you know, a Mark is going to be 13 years old, 30 years old, and 33 years old. Okay, it's all, it's all right. You are gonna choose, I mean, um, the best option, I mean, the correct one. But if you want to provide further information about the conversation, it will be all right, okay? Okay, is that clear, people? Oh. Yeah, okay, let me see. Oh, Irving, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to listen to the audio, right? Okay, uh, tengo que, 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 que ver, que, que responder la, la, la pregunta, pero este, todavía no hemos escuchado el audio. No, that's that's right. I mean, but besides that, you 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 have you have to pick up some uh, extra information that you want that you want to provide about about each situation. Okay. Van a escuchar el audio. Van a elegir una respuesta. Pero si alguien quiere dar o quiere decir extra información del audio, lo puede hacer. Okay. Okay, let's let's start. Oh, let me see. Let's start. Number All right, for example, in the first one, what do you listen to when, uh, I mean, Mari is going to be? Teacher. Uh, oh, listen, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I think I didn't, give me one second. What's my fault once again? Now, I will, I will do it again. 
All right. Uh, I think I could solve the problem. Let us let us listen to it once again. One. Do you listen now? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, so, are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. All right. So far, so good, right? How Mark is going to be? 13. Uh, he's, 13 going to be, he's going to be 13 years old. Extra information? Extra information that you want to provide? Something else that, that you could listen to? Uh, but yes, sir. He he's going to to high school. He's gonna go to high school. That's fantastic. So that's the last part, right? We'll play once again. Now look, listen. Well, I think it's better if I do it at once. Okay, here, here we go. Listen once again. First One. part. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Uh, he's going to go to high school next year. Very good. That's right. Now, let us listen to the second one. They, they are going to have a party on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. If we can provide extra info, would be nice. My goodness, I have problems with this activity. Give me one second, please. I think it's better if we listen to everything at once. 13. He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Now, listen to the second one, please. Two. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. All right. Three. Number three. Let us listen what kind to of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. All right, so uh, let me see. In the first one, you said that Mark is going to be 13 years old, and that he is... Yes. Yeah, he's he's gonna go to high school when? On one year. Next year, right? Yes. yes. Next year he's gonna go to high school. Fantastic. Perfect. Your, what your did birthday you... is Friday. But his... your party is today. His birthday is on Friday. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, Cecil. Good to see you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't see you yesterday, but now we have you in the clan. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. All right. So, Jose, you were participating, right? Jose says uh, the guy is going to have his uh, birthday on Friday. Is that right, Jose Oscar? But uh, now, who wants to help me? Uh, let me see, Susana, Susana, please. What can um, you tell me about number two? Her birthday is on Friday, but celebration is on Saturday. Celebration is on Saturday. So they are going yeah. to have a party when exactly? Saturday or, or Sunday? Saturday. 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 Extra information you want to provide? And birthday um, is on uh, Friday. That his birthday is on is on Friday, but the party is on Saturday. No more than that. 
All right. And the number three, who wants to help me? They're going to sing, sing song. They are going to sing song. The they're going to they're gonna sing songs at the party? Yeah. Uh, as, yes. far as, yes. as, as far as I remember, they are going to set something to have a karaoke, a karaoke party. Now, and... Um, does the does the guy I, I mean the birthday boy like to sing? Yes, they are going uh karaoke party in They're gonna... his house. Uh, okay, in his house. Very good. Now we're gonna check people and see what's going on with the uh, about about this exercise. Now we're gonna see the the answers. All right. Wow. Some something tells me that you did a great job in the in the in the midterm. Pretty good. Now let's go over the next part. I, I don't know if there is any question about it. If you have any question, you can ask, right? Or if you want to listen to the audio once again, you can, I mean, you you can uh, tell me, right? Otherwise, we're gonna go over the next the next exercise. Now, over here. Now, remember that we were talking about uh, questions, right? We we also talked about questions with be going to. Over here, you 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 had to match the questions with the, with the answer. That was something very simple, right? But over here, I I need two people. I need two people to help me. One person is going to read the question and the other person is going to tell me what, what's the answer. He's going to read the answer, okay? I need two volunteers. Hi, teacher. Uh, are, are we? Are we? Uh, uh, okay. I, I have Kenya and Susana, right? As far as I could see. Okay, you can start. Are we going to work this quite quickly? Um... No, we're not. We're going to relax. Are we gonna work? Are we gonna work this weekend? Going to relax. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Okay, that's no, why. To relax. Is this one? Let us see. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Now let's go over the second one. Who wants to help me with the with the second one, people? Teacher, I can. You can, Christopher. Go ahead. Okay. And I, I wonder who is going to help Christopher. Who wants Thank to help? Sure. Perfect. Very good. Go ahead. Are we going to call dinner? Let me see. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Are they, they gonna? Are, uh, uh -huh. are they gonna cook dinner? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they are. Are the? Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. All right. Very good, Jorge. Jorge, want to participate, uh -huh. Jorge? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jorge. Other joke. The next one. I'm sorry, it's other other. Fantastic, hey, Jorge. Number three for Jorge. Jorge, okay. and I want, give me one second. Jorge, and? Yeah. Is there, is there any other person? Only Jorge? Me, me. Uh, okay, help him, please. Now, Jorge, you ask the question, please. Okay. Are you going to exercise this evening? Uh, yes. I'm I'm going to go swimming. I'm gonna go swimming. Are you gonna are you going to exercise this evening? Yes. Kenya? Yes, yes, I am. I'm gonna to go swimming. 
Yesayama, I'm gonna go swimming. Very good. Jose Oscar, do you want to participate once again? Yes. All right, Oscar. Oscar, and is there anybody who wants to help him? Yes. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Uh -huh. Is Bill going to do anything after work? What's the answer? Uh, the correct uh, option is it's uh, no, uh, hey. no, it's not, it's going to be cloudy. The, the letter B? No. Yes. Okay, Oscar says letter B. Let me see. I have uh, I have Reina who wants to participate and also Susana. Okay, now Reina, is this correct? Yes or no? No. No. No, what is the correct option then? Option E. Letter E? He's gonna visit this, his party. Uh, all right, we're gonna check. Jose Oscar, keep it in mind, okay? Keep it in mind. Now, something else that you have to notice is about Susana. Okay. Uh, uh, Susana, I will give you the opportunity in a minute, right? Now, listen, one question. Bill? Una persona. What is Bill? Una persona. It is a person, right? So over here, you, you have to be clear that uh, proper, proper nouns uh, are written with capital letter. All right, so this is a this is a mistake. Okay, it is a person. It refers to Bill, maybe Billy. I don't know if Billy is the, his 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 name or, but but the thing is, that's about a person. All right. So Susanna in. Let me see, Susanna. Oh, okay, Oscar, no, Oscar, Susana wants to participate, and I wonder if there is another person who wants to help her. Susana, and let me see, who wants to help Susana with the number five? Okay, Susana, ask the question, please. Okay. Are Pam and Andrew gonna have a picnic this weekend? Very good. Something that I really like about this exercise is that you are uh, recognizing the right pronunciation of questions. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? That's the way you should um, pronounce it. Uh, I mean, you have to intonate a question in English. Okay. What's the, what's the correct option, uh, Susana? For you, the letter F. 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 Letter F. You want to yes. read it? No, they aren't. They're gonna have a party. They're gonna have a party. Very good. Okay, we will check it at the end. And I still have another one. That's the last one. I don't know if there is uh, somebody else who wants to. Oh, fantastic, Gloria. Gloria. Okay, and. Gloria, do me a favor, please. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Is it going to rain tomorrow? Could you read it once again, Gloria? Is it going to rain tomorrow? What is the option? I mean, what is the correct option? Uh, What's the correct option? No, it's they, not. It's going to be closed. The letter. Letter B. No, it's let not. It it's not gonna. It's it's gonna be cloudy. Okay, let us check. Thank you, Gloria. Great pronunciation, Gloria. Let me see. Let me see. Well, we did it. Six six exercises. All right. Are we gonna work this weekend? No, we're not. We're gonna relax. All right, second one, very good people. Are you gonna exercise this evening? Yes, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go swimming. Wow, fantastic. And you know what? 
I'm really happy because if you are doing, I mean, if you are not committing any mistake over here, it's because you got a, a hundred percent in your in your midterm. Si no se si no se están equivocando acá, pues lo fe, primero lo felicito y lo segundo quiere decir que en el midterm tuvieron 90% o 100%. Eso está súper. All right, let's see. Now I, I wonder if there is any question about this part. Uh, uh, something that I, I, I also liked when you participate is that you re also remember the way to um, reduce the going to uh, structure to gonna. Are we gonna, are we gonna work this weekend? The majority of you remember that you can say gonna also, gonna wanna, all right? And we studied that in the class, fantastic people. Let's go over the next part, please. We're gonna go to the next part. Be ready. Over here, as you remember, we were studying also about double H questions uh, with, uh, I mean, with be going to, right? And that's why we, uh, I mean, that the midterm includes these exercises. So, but in this case, you know, the, the answer is given. Oh, here is the opposite, right? In the previous one, in the previous one, you were given the question and you were uh, supposed, I, I mean, you were in charge of choosing the, the correct answer. But in this case, it's the opposite. You are given the answer, as you can see, and you have to provide the question. And for example, Jorge, Jorge wants to to participate. Hi, good night. How are you going to? Excuse me, excuse me. Where are you going to go next summer? Next summer, we're you going to go to Alaska. All right. So the best option seems to be the second one, right? Yes. Is that right, right Jorge? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Very good. Now, uh, what about if I ask you, who are you going to go with? What would be a possible answer to this one? People, volunteers. With my friend. Ah. I to with my husband. Very good. That's what. I, okay. Now. Whenever you go to the midterm, you, you, you can get extra exercises like the one that we are just discussing now, okay? You can, I mean, you are supposed to focus on the exercise itself, but you have some more info, right? How to answer to who are you going to go with? Uh, well, I'm going to go with my friends. I'm going to go with my girlfriend. I'm going to go with my uh, uh, colleagues. I'm going to go with my... Co-workers, Co partners, my classmates, okay, etc. Now, what about if I ask you, when, I, when are you going to go? I am going to go next week. Perfect. I'm going to go next week. I'm going to go next week. I'm going to go where? I'm going to go to Alaska, to Alaska next week. Perfect. Very good. Who wants to help me with the second one, people? Alaska. Wow. Let me see your, your hands. If you want to participate, just let me know it. And let's continue, people. Who wants to help me with the second one? Second one, Julio wants. Very good, Julio. Go ahead with the second one. Alaska, wow. How, how are you going to get there? We are going to take both. Julio, you know what? Uh, congratulations because you, you, your pronunciation is quite good. It's really good. But you know, something that we, we have to learn also is how do you how do you call this in English? 
Wow. 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 Yeah, yeah. Exclamation. No, I mean. Exclamation yeah. mark. Exclamation that mark. is an exclamation mark, right? So what about if I, I tell you, well, you know, I'm very surprised. And it is supposed to, I'm very surprised. And let us, let us remember about this, right? English needs to be, needs to be um, pronounced in a very natural way. So keep it in mind, because if, if we have an exclamation mark, it's because you are excited. Who wants to help me to read it uh, in a very excited way? Volunteers? Alaska. Who oh, are you going wow. to get it? Get it. Okay, okay, Oscar. let us try one by one. Oscar, read it, please. Alaska, wow. We are going to take a boat. A boat. Wow, fantastic. Uh, how are you going to get there? Uh, all right. Now, who are you going to... Now, listen, Alaska, let me see. Let us solve the, the exercise first, and then we go with, with pronunciation. Alaska, wow. What is the answer, people? The best option. How are you gonna how to get there? To get there? Uh, how are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? Now, uh, you, we're gonna practice it in a, I mean, we're gonna practice pronunciation also. We're recognizing the answer. I mean, we're recognizing the, the, the questions, the answers, but we also need to practice a little bit of pronunciation, all right? So that's why I, I told you, uh, uh, you know, sometimes, um, I mean, most of the time, we have to respect the the, the, the all the, the the marks that are presented in the, in the sentences, right? Alaska, wow! How are you gonna get there? And then the answer is, we're gonna get, uh, we're going to take a boat, all right? Very good. Now we're gonna move on, people. Uh, fortunately, you got my point over right here. Now, who wants to help me with the with the following? Who wants to help me with the following people? That sounds exciting. Volunteers, you're very shy today. What's going on? Me, George. Uh, okay, George, go ahead. Okay, that sounds exciting. And. Um, who are you gonna go with? I'm gonna go with my family. All right. That sounds so exciting. I'm gonna go with my family. All right. Who are you gonna go with? Very good, Jorge. All right. Let's move on because you know the time is running. We we only have 30 minutes more and we are gonna be done. Now uh, with the last one, people. Great. All right. Where are you going to the next summer? We're gonna to go on June twenty first. Oh, all right, on June twenty first. What What is the best option? Where are you gonna go next summer? Where are you gonna go next summer? We're gonna go. We're We're gonna go. On, is that the Is that the question? Where or when? Or who? Or how? When? 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 It's when? When? It's when, when right? are you going? It's true. Go? When are you gonna go? When All right. Are you when going to go? go? All right. Fantastic. Now listen. We're gonna focus our our attention to to get some mistakes that are in the exercise. All right. I mean, I I think this exercise were created with a purpose. Okay, and that purpose is to practice pronunciation, to see if they are using uh, the right uh, uh, capital, capitalization or, you know, capital letter, lowercase, and the periods, etc. I will read, and then you tell me if the, if the sentence is correct. Fíjense en todo, por favor, ahorita que les vaya a preguntar. Fíjense que haya un question mark, si es pregunta. Fíjense que... Si la palabra debe ir con mayúscula o con minúscula, 
Fíjense si hay un punto al final. Fíjense en cada detalle. Y si hay algo que no está bien, entonces usted me dice cómo lo corregimos. All right. All right. Now, the first one. Where are you going to go next summer? Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. No problems? It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Vamos a evaluar entonces nosotros el midterm. Alaska. Wow. How are you going to get there? We're going to take a boat. No problems? No problem. It's no all problem. right. Okay. The next one. That sounds so exciting. Exciting. Who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with my family. Is that all right? Where are you going to go? Is that oh. all right? No problems? No problem. No problem. Okay, very good. The next one, I think, oh, here we are going to get something. All right? Great. Where are you going? Uh, no, that's, when are you going to go? We're going to go on June the 21st. No problems? No problem. Are you sure? No, no problem. I think there is one problem over here. What can you tell me about the month? Is that correct? John. John. Capiralera. Ah, okay. Remember, people, days of the week. Uh, what are the days of the week, actually? Sunday. Monday. You Monday. know the days of the week, right? Sunday, Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. Saturday, Sunday. 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 Okay, Sunday. do me the favor to type the, 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 the days of the week in the chat. Digiten los días de la semana en el chat. Cuando alguien digite el lunes, ya el otro se pasa al siguiente. Porfa, quiero ver cómo lo, cómo lo digitan. Eh, ¿Chat de Zoom o chat de WhatsApp? Eh, el chat de, 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 de Zoom, porfa. Ah, 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 ah. Wait a minute, wait, let us start. Eso es lo que quiero que se fijen. Los días de la semana comienzan con mayúscula, por favor. Vamos, vamos de nuevo. ¿Ok? No, let's start, people. Comencemos desde el domingo, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Somebody in the chat, please. Sunday, very good, Jorge. Monday, all right, Kenya. Monday, what else? Sunday, Monday, the next one. Tuesday, very good, Kenya. All right. Tuesday. Who else? What is the next day? Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh -huh. What's going on with Friday? Friday, Saturday. All right, very good, Julio. Frente a, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, that's Friday, right? <laughs> Very good. Excellent job. Now, if we do it with the month of the, uh, with the month of the year, vamos a hacerlo con los meses del año, que no se nos va a olvidar nunca que tienen que ir con capital letter. Okay, who, who, who types uh, uh, enero in English? All right, very good, Julio. January, okay, February. Type February, no, February. Okay, very good. February, March, very good. Irving, April, May, May, no, April, capital letter. May, June, July, August, August. All right, very good, Diana, September. Very good, Irving. October. Uh, no, okay, check spelling, eh, Cecil. October. Oh, all right, very good. November and December. Very good. That's fantastic. Now we did it. All right, don't forget it. Let us move on to the next part, people. Uh, we, we, I mean, this is something that we will... 
that we will never forget because we practice by using the chat. Now, let's go over the next part, people. Complete the conversation. We have conversations here. Okay. And it says, uh, select the correct word. Simple like that, right? Remember that we were talking about commands. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, Jorge. I, I have a headache. I have a uh, headache. Ah, uh, okay. I have a headache. Jorge? Yeah. I have a headache. Have. Uh, now, listen. Have. Yeah, when we have. Cuando, te, cuando la palabra termina así, eso suena como ache. Headache. Ex headache. No, headache. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Headache. Headache. All right, that's fantastic. That's very headache. So, Jorge, once again, I have a headache. I I have a headache. A headache. A headache. All right. Now, look at this one. What's the best option? Take. 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 This pill. This pills. Take these pills. All right. Conversation number two. Best option. What's, what's the matter? What's the what's matter? The matter? What's the hey, matter? what's the matter? What's, what's the, matter? the matter? How was the matter? What's the matter? I don't feel well. Well. I don't I feel have well. A stomach ache. Excellent. I have a stomach. How do you pronounce this one? Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Uh, stomach cake. All right. I have a stomach cake. I don't stomach. feel well. I don't feel well. I have no. a stomach cake. Well, yes. A stomach. A stomach. Cake. A stomach cake. All stomach right. Cake. Number three. Do you feel today? How do you, do you feel today? How do you feel today? How do you feel today? How? How do you feel today? How do you feel today? How do you feel, how do you feel today? Excellent. Uh -huh. And what is the best option for the answer? Not so good. Not so good. I have sore eyes. I have sore eyes. No sore eyes, no, right? No so good. I have sore eyes. Sore eyes. So so. Ice. Yeah, no, listen, I, I will stop over here because I want I want you I want you to notice about something. Okay, there are some words. No, so go. Listen, listen, listen to me, please. Okay. If I say this word and then I say this word, ice. I mean how, how do you pronounce this word? Ice. Uh -huh. And how do you pronounce this word? As ice. It's the same? Ice. Is it the same pronunciation or is, diff is it different? Ice. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this has a different... How, uh, what's the meaning of this word in Spanish, people? Okay. Mm, yellow. Uh, 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 no, yellow or, or yellow? Now, if I say sore eyes, what's the so, meaning? What's sore the meaning? Eyes. What's the meaning in Spanish? <laughs> ah, yeah. What's the meaning? <laughs> what's the meaning? Es que, es que sore eyes is ojos como irritados. Ah, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. So, but listen, that's why we are discussing about pronunciation over here. If I say sore eyes. Dolor, dolor de hiel. <laughs> ah, but if you say sore eyes, so that's uh, why that's why I'm I'm calling your attention on pronunciation. I will say this so, in Spanish, okay? okay? Chicos, chicos, oigan. Si yo digo sore eyes, sore eyes, como dolor, que no tiene sentido la cosa. Dolor de hielo, dice. Como que no tiene mucho sentido la cosa. Cambia el significado, ¿verdad? 
Pero si yo digo sore eyes, ahí sí. Ah, sore eyes. Son ojos irritados. ¿Cuál es, ¿Qué es lo que hace la diferencia en la pronunciación? Yo sé que es algo como que, so, que, que lo van a ir practicando eyes. poco a poco y lo van, a ir, lo van a ir reconociendo poco a poco, pero... No, de, pero me, chévere, dígame. Déjame de, de dejarnos un trabajo en inglés como tarea. ¡Ey, qué buena idea! Pero ahorita tienen una que no está tan sencilla. <risa> pero si quieren, <risa> les le dejo las dos. <risa> No estaría mal. Uh, bueno, el que quiera traernos un trabalengua, enseñarnos un trabalengua el lunes, bienvenido sea. Hey, chicos, pero quiero llamar la atención a esto. Mira, esto es sencillo, sí es sencillo, pero muchas veces como que lo pasamos por alto. Eh, si, si yo digo esa expresión, no tiene sentido, pero ahora si uso esta, sí tiene sentido. Y cuando nosotros hablamos, si yo digo Sorais, entonces, yo estoy diciendo otra cosa que no quiero decir. Y eso puede suceder con, con más palabras, no solo esta. Entonces, mi llamado nuevamente a que cuando ustedes escuchen la pronunciación de una palabra, que le presten mucha atención, porque aquí la diferencia es que ice suena con, con, con una S, ice. Pero ice al final suena ice. con Z. Entonces, en inglés es bien importante eso. Son sonidos que son muy, muy parecidos, son demasiado parecidos, pero um, para, para los nativos, o sea, ellos sí, claro, ellos distinguen súper bien los, los, los sonidos, pero nosotros que somos, estamos aprendiendo, hay que prestar como, como más atención a, eso, a esas cositas, a esos detalles, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, now conversation okay. number five. Yo por lo menos ya les, le, le, fíjense que sí me, me encantó lo siguiente. Yo solo les dije, hey, toda palabra que termine con este, con este, con estas tres, dos, cuatro letras, ¿cómo les dije que se pronunciaba? Ache, headache. Ah, solo una vez se los dije y miren, ya después todos lo hicieron automático. Después me dijeron, Leyeron esta, esta ustedes la dijeron y la dijeron bien. How do you, how do you pronounce this? Tomake. Tomake, very good. Con D termina. Yeah, but, and now we have this one. What is the pronunciation for this word? Backache. Backache. All right. Backache. I have a backache. I backache. don't. Backache. Don't. Okay. Don't exercise. Exercise. Don't exercise. Exercise. Don't exercise. And and, and use and use this use, medication. Use, use, use this med medication. Now medication. Uh, and use this medication. medication. All medication. right. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. If medication. we committed one mistake. We're going to see it now. Okay, very good. Fantastic. The first one is have, take, what, well, how, have. Wow, people, you are really amazing. I mean, you don't like to commit mistakes, right? <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna go to the last part and we're gonna finish. Okay, over here we're gonna read something. Okay, and we're going to complete um, the reading section. Give me one second, please. Now, some of you are gonna help me to read. Okay, now I will ask some of you to help me to read, but. Uh, I want you to, to try to get as much info and I mean, to keep the information in, in your mind so that we can uh, complete the exercise. Alba Luz, please read the first part. What is the topic? ¿Cuál es el tema, Alba Luz? remedies. Home remedies. Okay, then Alma Yvette, what follows this sentence, please? Do home 
Do you think our remedies for our work? Many people say yes. Try the sample of some remedies. Uh, okay, Jorge, very good, Jorge David. Jorge David. I'm sorry, good. I'm sorry. No, it's a, it's a right. I mean, mm -hmm. the more you participate, the better for everybody here. No, but I, I wonder if Alma is in the class. Alma, Alma, Almita. Well, I, I will check later. Carlos Ernesto, read this part, please. Carlos. Let me see. Carlos is, didn't get into the class tonight. Hey, what about Cecibel? Cecibel, could you please read this part? Okay. Uh, do home remedy really work? Many people say yes. Three, try. Try this simple home. Simple Sam home. Simple home. Simple home. Si simple. Simple home. Remedies. Remedies. Uh, uh, no, se, no se ve. No, you don't see? No, es que están las imágenes de nosotros ahí. Ah, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. okay. With the picture. You can move the picture. Con el yeah. Dos. Yeah, that's right. I mean, do you see it completely now? Uh, yes, I see. Now you see it, right? Now, who wants to help me with it? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, teacher. Okay, Cecilia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I, I didn't notice about it. Okay. Uh, Christopher Raul, do me the favor to read uh, this part. Hello, teacher. Hello, Christopher. Uh, the information about a call. Okay. Call. Do you have a call? Three words here or take some honey. This can make you fulfill better. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Okay. And then we have a cough. Okay. Do me the favor to read it, Fatima. Well, listen, people, I think we're going to, It's uh, uh, we're missing like 10 minutes, right? I don't know if somebody wants to help me with this part, a cough. Do you have about calls? Do you have about calls? Drink, warm tea. Dr Drink or tea or take home some home. Drink or tea or take some home. Honey. This honey, this cake, this can make your throat, throat feel better. Feel better. Very good. Thank you. Feel better. Thank you very much. Let me see. Somebody is like chatting in over oh, here. Okay, Jenny, thanks for letting me know. I'm sorry to know about it, Jenny. But thanks for, I, I mean, to thank for using the, the chat. Hey, who wants to help me with a headache? Let me see. Uh, Sylvia? Or Wilson? Wilson, please. Yeah. Uh, headaches. What are the headaches? Put a cold cloth under your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in the hot water. This is the Very good. Thank you. It is Elizabeth. Read the last part, please. Insomnia.
Ok. Eh, Jorge Alberto. Sí, teacher. Read the last part, please. Uh, the what about? Yeah. Todo. No, I mean the, the part, the last part okay. only. Okay, insomnia. Can't sleep at night. Drink a layer glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Warm milk or take a very warm bath. Very good. Bath. And we're going to stop there. Okay, vamos a detenernos acá. Prácticamente terminamos el midterm. Espero que les haya sido de, de mucha utilidad hacer el repaso. Voy a, a, a chequear la asistencia. Por si acaso me he equivocado, ustedes me corrigen. Eh, Alma y Beth. Voy a mencionar los que no tengo registrados todavía. Si no contestan, pues... O si ustedes me lo visualizan por ahí en el, en el grupo, me dicen. A lo mejor tienen problemas con micrófono, no lo sé. Carlos Ernesto. Fátima Elisa. Iris Elizabeth. José Enrique. Ya, yeah, José Enrique está there. Sí, ahí veo a José Enrique conectado. Eh, José Luis Castro. José Luis. Eh, Catherine Judith. Catherine Roxana. Okay, Catherine is there. I could, I can see her. Eh, Katie Tatiana. Katie Tatiana. I see somebody's chatting. Ah, uh, Catherine Roxana. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Catherine. And Katie Tatiana. No, I don't. I don't. I don't see her. Reina Concepción. Ya, yeah, Reina yes. is there. Thank you, Reina. Salvador Galdames. Hi, teacher, I'm here. Hi, fantastic. Now I got, I got all of, all, of, all the information. And Silvia Carolina. Let me see the chat. Susana Isabel, all right. Thank you, Susana. Jenny Carolina. Yeah, uh, thanks. Thanks. I'm thanks for here, letting me know. Teacher. Tell me. I'm here, Jenny. Yeah, that's right, Jenny. No, don't worry. I have already checked your participation. Oh. Hey, uh, pues creo que con eso vamos a ir uh, un poquito terminando ya con la con la sesión de esta noche. Pero sin antes, quiero ver, Diana Gabriela. All right, very good, Diana. No problem, I can see that you are, that you were in the class. Yeah, Diana ya me había dicho que iba a tener o que enfrentó algunas dificultades con eh, técnicos y pues con eso si no, no podemos hacer como, como, como mucho, ¿verdad? Porque inclusive a mí me puede pasar el día que el primero día no, no me pase. Pero eh, si en algún momento pues yo tengo problemas técnicos, yo se los voy a hacer saber también. Espero yo que no me vaya a suceder. Pero, por ejemplo, hay situaciones en donde hay corte de energía eléctrica y pues ahí este, pues, no podemos hacer nada. O que en el caso pues mi, mi internet me falle, pues yo también les, les avisaría. Les avisaría a, mi, a mis a mi jefatura y ya luego les, les no, ellos también les notificarían a usted. Ok. Hey, excelente trabajo. Lo vuelvo a felicitar. Espero que mantengan la motivación siempre este, viva con ustedes. Eh, ya prácticamente terminamos la mitad de, del curso. Faltarían dos semanas más. 
y ya su crecimiento en el idioma pues eh, tiene que irse viendo como más eh, tiene que irse les viendo más el, el avance en su, en su aprendizaje ok eh, les recomiendo que practiquen siempre su lectura su, su pronunciación para que todos los días pues vayan eh, aprendiendo nuevas palabras y no solo eh, de manera escrita, sino que también sepan identificarla cuando la escuchen y sepan pronunciarla cuando la digan. Eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta, alguna... Mister, call, call me, call me Davis. Oh, ok, ok, David, I will, I will try to remember about it. <laughs> Ok, David, that's all right. Thanks. Uh, Michelle, igual una consulta también me mencionó. Héctor López, a los que no mencioné. Sí. Sí, no se preocupen si no los mencioné. Yo, yo acá tengo una lista en físico, ok. Y acá yo voy chequeando, eh, parece que se los comenté la vez anterior, que a mí me gusta ir anotando, ir tomando asistencia al momento que alguien participa. Entonces, si yo, por ejemplo, en la clase yo digo a um, Jorge da o, o David, David, entonces ya David participa, entonces yo acá anoto a ah, David si sí está presente. Al final, si ustedes, si ustedes se dan cuenta, yo lo único que hago es cómo rectificar. Por si acaso yo me he equivocado y le he puesto a alguien que está ausente cuando la persona sí estuvo, entonces, eh, pues yo corrijo mi error en su momento, ¿verdad? No... No lo dejo así. Entonces, yo creo que así aprovechamos más el tiempo también. Si no los menciono, es porque yo ya, ya eh, anoté que si usted estuvo en la sesión. Ok. Ok, vamos a quedarnos por acá y nos vemos la próxima semana, ¿ok? Ahí sí, son las... Gracias, Thank you. See you next week, everyone. Thank you. Hey, see you the next week, ¿ok? Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.